Hi guys, in this video, I am going to be doing a flip through of the nonfiction reading comprehension science and nonfiction reading comprehension social studies grade three. All right, so the basic setup of these books, you have your table of contents, the introduction, then it tells you about using the book, the stories, new words, the writing link, the questions, the test link, the thrill of science, well in this case, since this is a science, and then meeting standards. So again, if you know Common Core is something that's important to you, then this is something that you might want to just look through. All right, and the basic setup is first you have um, the new words that the child is going to possibly, you know, be introduced to as they read the story. So you have some new words. We highlighted the new words, when well, words that were new to her, she highlighted them. And well, she has this little notebook. This is not required. She just does this where if it's a word that she likes, she writes it in there. Just a few words that she pick. Um, on her own she writes it in there and she gets the words and meanings and you know she tend to use those words but anyway we would highlight a couple of the words if it's new to her then we would read the story and then you have the questions to answer after and that's the basic setup for all of these non-fiction reading comprehension books so I'm just going to flip through the both of them so that you can kind of get a look at um, look inside to see what it looks like. I did talk about these on my blog recently, so if you are interested, I will put a link to that below. But basically, most likely, I will just be using these with my two younger ones as, as we move on. I may use it as a supplement, mainly because of how the sentences are structured as you notice they have the information the way how it's laid out the sentences they're really short um to the point not necessarily a bad thing but if you are using it with a child that reads a lot they may do better with something um that might hold the attention longer let's put it like that but if you are dealing with a child that probably reading is not their favorite thing to do then the layout of this where the information is sort of so to speak in bite size might be um might not be that intimidating for them that's what i that's well that's how i feel about these books I'm kind of holding this in an awkward position. And this is a grade three science. Questions look like this. And then you have your answer sheets if you wanted to use this. 
you have bibliography and then you have your answer key to the back so this is the science and then you have the nonfiction comprehensive social studies basically the first part is laid out more or less the same the new words they're going to be introduced to the story and then some questions for them to answer afterwards at a certain point when we had first started to use this um, she was highlighting just a couple um, facts that stood out to her and in here well this was a word that was new to her so she highlighted I can't remember if she took this into her little notebook, but as I said, that's something that she does on her own. story looks like and the questions And then again, you have some answer sheets that you can use. And the answer key. All right, guys. Well, hopefully that flip through was helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask them below. And I'll try to get back to you guys. Bye.